Naked Reagan from their Understand LP Treason. A reminder, some of the records heard in the new afternoon show have been provided by Peter Platters, and they have two locations, 56 Newark Street and 55 First Street in Hoboken, New Jersey. Both provide new and used imported and domestic LPs, cassettes, and compact discs, and they also feature video cassette recordings. Well, as part of this new music seminar, Madness, lots of bands in town. Naked Ray Gun is in the studio with us. Eric and John, how you doing? Hi. Hi. Hello. It's madness. It, is, it certainly is madness. <laughs> yeah. How long have you guys been in town for? I don't know. Long enough to meet about 30,000 different record companies, scum. <laughs> <laughs> My sentiments, exactly. We we'll got here last night. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys been making it? Well, you were, you were at the convention today. What do you think of it? Oh, it's pretty interesting. In what sense? <laughs> I've never seen so much schmoozing going on yeah. over one, under one roof in my entire life. A lot of schmoozing. Disgusting. A lot of schmoozing. And basically to go and then just come back here and retreat for a long time. More lies are go, cold The shows are cold. always... I like the shows. The, at nights, that's that's a good time, I think. But uh, definitely, Sweet. last year we broadcast live from there. It was very chaotic. And this year I feel like it's a lot more homey and comfortable just being back down here again. I try to keep this far away from the... Yeah. As part as I can. Uh-huh. <laughs> so the new LP has been gaining a lot of success. Why do you think why do you think that is? It's a damn good album. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't you think your other ones were too? Who is it? You can answer it. Don't you think your other LPs Hello. were just as good or Yeah, this is Eric. It's just that we've been around so long <coughs> people just calling? eventually catch on. Uh-huh. And it just I mean our next record will number. be bigger than this one and mm -hmm. this is the next NYU, record will be bigger number. than that one. That right. doesn't ne really necessarily have to do with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It's just that you put out more records and more people know about you. So what'd you say is a focus of this LP, like lyrically, is there a, a certain kind of he focus? Know what color your underwear are. Oh. He's on hold. <laughs> He's on hold, okay. I'll, I'll have to get back on the phone with him. Uh, any kind of lyrical focus on this LP, would you say? No, I think Just the songs are <laughs> spelled right. Yeah. <laughs> I think they vary, they vary pretty much. Uh -huh. I think uh, a lot of them have to do, you know, more than one of them, I would say, have to do with uh, personal politics. Right. Uh, but uh, other than that, I, I really don't see, uh, you know, a lyrical direction. Mm -hmm. No con concept or anything? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you came back from Europe a few weeks ago from a six-week tour. What happened there? Six weeks there is like a lifetime. <laughs> Why is that? Well, we're doing on the average six shows a week. Oh, wow. So I left one day off to travel really far. <laughs> <laughs> to drive even so you didn't get to You didn't get to see a lot, basically going in, driving all night, doing sound check the next day, that yeah. kind of thing? Yeah, it was after like a week it becomes a blur. Yeah. And then after three weeks if you like you've been there for your entire life lots yeah, of it work just doesn't matter anymore. yeah we, ha we had this play. guy booking the tour he would like book us in uh you know vienna austria one day and then we'd have to like cross the alps and go to peru f the next day and <laughs> it, was just, it was really ridiculous but mm -hmm. a lot of fun we had a lot of fun and what did he do that was really fun uh f i don't know just being there and drinking and, and the yeah and mm -hmm. And making fun of people and <laughs> making fun of who foreigners? Yeah, I mean, we but you were the we, foreigners. Yeah, I know, but we put on the ugly American act pretty good, you know. Uh huh. And like, where's my hamburger with ketchup yeah, and yeah, lots of fries? Yeah. I want a lot of ice in my drink. I'm American, you know, uh -huh. that kind of stuff. Some of the ice is pretty bad over in the European countries. So ice, they're ice. drinking water. Lack of a lot ice. of drinking yeah, water <laughs> in France, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very brown, if you get any. <laughs> but no, no uh, good tour stories. Nothing. Um, Hysterically funny that's going to make me fall off my seat? Well, there was a lot of funny stuff, but the thing that was really, uh, I thought was one of the high points was when we did a show in London, mm -hmm. Steve Diggle got up on stage with us and did Harmony in My Head. <laughs> oh, that's right. From the Buzzcocks. All right. Yeah, yeah that's so good. that was a, I thought was a high point for did me. Did he have that all taped too? Do you tape most of your shows? No, we don't tape most of our shows, but I'm sure some scummy bootlegger has one uh-huh he's putting on now next yeah. year and make a lot of money yeah sure even if he did that wouldn't sell because steve was awfully drunk by then yeah <laughs> having a hard time remembering his own lyrics uh -huh. yeah it was fun but though. hey we were on stage with steve diggle <coughs> right that's pretty that's a uh, pretty noteworthy that, that was like a dream come true mm -hmm. any kind of van stories that's what the uh the pope loves are telling us their van actually fell off the side of the road I wish ours had. <laughs> you wish yours had? Our windshield went out, uh, totally blew out, 
a, a little rock hit it about five minutes into France, and the uh -huh. windshield shattered. Mm -hmm. I got this for me. <laughs> yeah, the WNYU. The van uh, that we had, it was, the last tour it did was for Johnny Thunder, so mm -hmm. the van smelled like Johnny Thunders the whole time. <laughs> sort of like Basically. a mixture of heroin and urine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vin vomit. <laughs> Oh, come on. Johnny might be listening. He's playing tonight. He, he probably isn't a, listening. He can't be awake yet. It's only 5 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so you're playing at the Rap Arts Center, and that's on West 4th we'll Street, <laughs> or East 4th Street. <laughs> and you're playing with Nice Strong R, Laughing Hyenas of Cabbages and Kings, and I think Roger Manning is emceeing the show, oh, if I'm really? correct. Right. So this is supposed to be one of the, the biggest shows, well, the Will biggest show of the night. Do we have a tuxedo and a carnation? <laughs> right, I right. I don't want to deal with him unless he does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're pretty excited about the show tonight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A cool room. And then you're going to fly back tomorrow to Chicago? or? Yep. Getting out of the seminar of madness pretty quickly? That's right. In, in and, and out. out quick. Right, That's yeah. right. Air yeah. mobile. I don't blame you. <laughs> don't blame you at all. And fly what are you going to do when you get, get home? Get confused and fly home. <laughs> <laughs> Have you started writing material for a new LP, or are you just going to chill out for a while and see how this one turns out? No, we have another year, so we'll probably wait about 11 months. And then, <laughs> and then you'll be at the like month. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. You only have to work for a, a month. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thanks for stopping by today. Thank you. And uh, we're going to have the next song, Hips Swinging, from Naked Ray Guns, Understand LP, on the new afternoon show. Thanks.